Welcome to this introduction on creating schedule in the Hypermedia Director software. In this presentation, we assume that we are familiar with HTTP Media Director software, that you know what the preview panel, the browsing panel, and the editing panel is. You've already created a project, and you're ready to create a new project using the schedule. We create a new project and rename it to schedule. Open the project and start working with it. The project is composed of an index.hvg file and we're going to add a schedule file to it. The next step is to import our media. We're going to import a PowerPoint presentation, a video file and some images. Drag and drop all the files into HMD to import them. The files are copied, the PowerPoint and the video are copied. The PowerPoint is converted to a video files by the HMD software. You can see here that the frames 1, 2 and 3 are converted. All transition and animation in the PowerPoint are kept during the transitions. Finally, the result video is imported to HMD. The next step is to create a playlist with all our images. I'm going to create a new playlist, drag and drop all the images into the playlist so that we play the four images one after the other. Now we are ready to create a schedule. Let's open the ICS file. Make sure that the icon of the view or the scheduling view is maximized. And now we can create a schedule by drag and drop it the different media and the different parts of the schedule on the time zone. You can move things around, but you can resize them to fit to last the right amount of time. You can drag and drop video files, you can drag and drop playlists, you can drag and drop like menu which is PowerPoint converted files. You can use the small panel to fine tune the times where you want the document to be added. You can see that the nature of the document doesn't matter for the scheduling. If you have SVG files or video or even images, they can be all put in the schedule. By pressing the save button, we can see the effect. It's now 11, so we can see that at 11 we are displaying the video. At 12, we're displaying the presentation. At 4, at 2 p.m., we're displaying the playlist of images one after the other. Unlock the time so that the time automatically is automatically set to the current time. With the schedule, you can create what you call category. This is nothing else than a colorize for, to, for you to help you to recognize the different events. You can also select any events and press the repeat pattern so that it repeats every day. You can select the pattern button, so you can modify the pattern if you want, for instance, to repeat it every second day. You can create patterns on a day, on a hours, on a month, on a week basis. At the end, open your index.svg files and tell it that what it needs to display is the schedule, the result of the schedule. It's important to know that the schedule can be used in a full screen schedule, but it can also be used only in part of the screen. So for instance, I can reduce the size of my schedule document. I press the control key so that the aspect ratio is not modified. And I add a background, make it full size, full screen. Make sure that the aspect ratio of this document is not preserved so that it fits everything. Change the order in the layer view so that my schedule is on top of it. And now I've got my schedule in a small resolution with a background image always present. At the end, what I need to do is to publish my results in my device. So open my schedule, drag and drop it into my device. It will copy all the files and all the, the templates into my device to be ready for displayed. Now I can open my device document. I can see all my document, that my, all my document have been copied, and I can press the snapshot button. Here I've got the snapshot of what was being played previously by the device. After 10 seconds, the snapshot will be automatically updated to reflect the status of the current the content being displayed. Every 10 seconds, the snapshot is updated to reflect what's on the device.
can use the different view of the calendar to view um, the day or the month view. This is the end of these presentations on this kind of scheduling. Thank you for following it.